Hello lads and lassies and welcome back to my channel as I'm Mr Mayhem today. We'll be going over my pickup for the month of February 2024. Now there's not that much this month. There's one significant big purchase and then just a couple of Warhammer stuff in a game. Um, yeah, so before we get into this, if you do enjoy this one, a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, so links in the description. And uh, I guess we'll start off with the Warhammer stuff, then the game, and then we'll do the big purchase. So first off, uh, I got this from my girlfriend. And by got this, I mean I went into town to, to go to the Warhammer shop anyway, and she asked me to get it for her. I got Griff Hounds. Very nice. Um, I've built these for... I always build the stuff, and she paints some of them. I built these. She's not painted them yet, but she's very busy, so it's expected. Um, then I'm going to do it from small set to big set. Uh, I've not bought a set. I bought all this at the start of the month. I have stopped buying sets for now, so I can just paint some stuff up, but... Um, I also picked up, uh, actually a funny story, I went into town to get a bunch of stuff because I was still Warhammer pilled and I got um, a bunch of stuff but they didn't have this set that I wanted, the Tau XV88 Battlesuit. Now I don't really like the Tau stuff but this shit reminded me so much of Titanfall that I was like, you know what, I'm going to get because I my main goal was to try and maybe get one of each set if I liked, one of each faction, sorry, if I liked that faction. Um, there's a couple that I'm not sure about yet. Uh, depends on if I'm still into it after I've painted all of it, but we'll see. But I really like the look of this one, um, which is the X-V88 Battle Suit. This is the last one I bought, actually. Um, but the way it went was, is uh, I went into town to get a bunch of stuff. This is one of the ones I wanted to get. They didn't have it in the Warhammer shop, but there's like a hobby shop on the opposite end of... I say the opposite end of town. It's like the opposite from the Warhammer store, like 10 minutes. And uh, I went there to check after I'd spent all my money in the Warhammer store, and they had it. So I was very annoyed by that. Then I came back later when I went into the cinema and picked it up. Um, but yeah, um, Tower XV88 XV Battlesuit. I really like the look at this. Fucking hell, I need to stop speaking so fast. Reminds me a lot of Titanfall, um, so that's why I've got it. Primed it in white paint, so it should be pretty easy to paint from there. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, I also picked up the Custodian Wardens, because these guys are so fucking cool. Um, again, I've assembled all these, I just haven't painted many of them. Um, but yeah, that's very, very cool. Uh, then we'll work our way up. Yep, so I also picked up the X, the XV8, fucking hell, the Stormhawk Interceptor. Um, really, really, really like this thing. I like the Space Marines a lot, they're my favourite faction, probably. Um, outside of the Death Corps, but, um, like I said, I don't play, so... But yeah, I've got this, I haven't painted it yet, but looking forward to painting it at some point. It's funny how big these boxes are and how small the models are compared to it. Um, that always baffles me, especially with this next one, the Lehman Rust Battle Tank. This thing I got as well. This was only like, what, 40? Pardon me, 40 pounds. And then it's funny because it's actually quite small, but um, this thing's very cool. Uh, I really like the look of this tank. It's very, very cool. I haven't painted it yet, but you'll... Uh, then this is another one for my girlfriend. I picked this up for her. Crondis, son of Dracothian. Um, I've built this for her. She's not painted it yet. It's very, very cool. And I look forward to seeing how she paints it because this is, this is very, very cool. Uh, second to last one, the Orc Battle Wagon. I just thought this thing was ridiculous. I have actually started painting this one, but I've been a bit more meticulous about the way this one goes. Um, so I've done the back. The one I'm building is, it's a mix of that with, yeah, I'll show it to you when I eventually do my video on it, but um, I've enjoyed painting this so far. I don't really typically like a lot of the orc stuff, especially the figures, because there's so many tiny little details that are all different colours, and I have a very shaky hand, so it's not too easy for me for that. But um, yeah, this this thing was just too cool. I was like, you know what, I'm going to get that. And the last thing, which I should not have gotten, but I just, I think the, I think it's so cool. Um, and this was the one I wanted to get instead of the Chaos Knight to begin with. I picked up the Knight Dominus and I've built it in the, in this configuration here, right here. Um, this thing is so cool. I love this. The box is huge, but I am so happy I picked this up. I've actually started to paint this one. I've painted the legs. I've started to paint some of the armor. Um, yeah, this thing is... This thing's very, very cool, so I'm looking forward to continuing to paint that, but I'm just doing a little bit of painting every day, um, but yeah, that's very, very cool. And that's all the Warhammer stuff. Now onto the one game, which, this is a game that when it first came out, 
um i love i really enjoyed i really enjoyed the first half it's the it's the only game i can think of where the second half just dropped like a fucking brick on the second half and i just it took me back when i was working it took me normally when a game would come out on friday i'd get it finished by the monday that like i wouldn't rush through it i'd just naturally you know do that nine times out of ten with that it took me through to the tuesday to finish it because i finished the first half on the saturday and I just did not did not give a fuck about the second half, and it just slogged and slogged and slogged and slogged, and then I finished it, and I just hated it. But when the but when the remaster was announced, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give this another try, and that's the Last of Us Part Two. I didn't actually pay for this. Um, <clears throat> I had a bunch of points on my game card, which is sad now that they're not doing trade-ins. But uh, yeah, I picked this up and played through it again, and I like it a lot more. I think the gameplay is awesome. I had so much fun with the gameplay on this. Um, the story itself is okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think the way it is, I just think it's structured very poorly, as everyone else has brought up the point of, if they're, you know, rational. But um, I really did enjoy this for what it was. The gameplay's awesome, and I was never bored. And I got the platinum, so, yeah. Really, really enjoyed this. Um, for the money, it's definitely worth it if you've never played it. And that, and, and that like, £10 upgrade is so worth it as well, because you get quite a lot for it. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. And now, I didn't include this on the thumbnail because it would have given it away. But, oh, can I find his name? Hang on. There was a guy that recommended this to me. I just can't remember his name. Hang on, let me see if I can find... I haven't responded. Here we go. Let's see. I need to look through my comments to see if I can find the guy because I want to shout him out. Um... I'm not going to cut this, but um, this is a console that I had been eyeing up for a while, and I wasn't quite sure, and I thought they were a lot more expensive than they are, but I think that's him. I think, I think that's him. I'm pretty sure that's him. If it's not, I do apologise. I haven't seen a comment from him in a while, but the guy by the name of Brad Shaw recommended that I get a Steam Deck at some point, and that kind of sat in my head for a while. To be fair, he recommended this to me, like, what, maybe, maybe a year ago. Um, and after that, uh, it kind of sat in my head for a while, you know, and then just this last week, I was like, you know what? Let's say this last week. Sorry. I'm on my phone trying to find the comment, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll put in a note here if it wasn't him, but if, but if it was him, then either way. But for the last, uh, but like at the start of February, I was like, you know what? Let me look into them and see how much they are. And they weren't as expensive as I thought they were. And... Fuck it, I'm just going to tell you what it is. I got a Steam Deck. This thing is awesome. Um, yeah, so the reason I got one of these is because... And I actually find that a lot of people are the same um, as me with why they got this. It's because a lot of the time when you're working at a desk, you don't want to play games at a desk after a day of, after a day of work. You want to relax. And for me, even though I don't work per se, it's... I don't like sitting at a desk playing games. It's not comfy for me. I like leisure, like lounging. I like sitting on my bed or sitting on like a comfy chair on a, on like a TV or a handheld and just playing. And the reason I got this is because I have a quite a big, I, I have a lot of games I've got on Steam because you know of the sales, but I just never played them. Um, so I thought, you know what, this might be a, a, a worthwhile investment. So I picked up one of these, and I absolutely love it. It is incredible. I got the two hundred and fifty six gigabyte model. Although I will give you a quick story about this so first so i actually had to buy this twice so the first time i bought it i bought it off of ebay refurbished you know i asked the guy does it come with a case and everything he's like, oh and i was like is there are there any marks and he's on a perfect condition charger everything so it gets here and it absolutely stinks of tobacco smoke so i was instantly just like no i'm putting this back um but on top of that it didn't come with the first party charger the case was fucked and there was marks all over it and i was like w w what's the point so I did put it back, but after that I ended up ordering just at full price. I think I paid three hundred for the stat for the that was a six, sixty-four gigabyte model. I paid standard for that, and I was like, Do you know what, fuck this. So I got a two fifty-six gig brand new off of Amazon. I paid full price for it. I didn't get the OLED because I don't need the OLED. It's something to me where I just wanted to be able to play my games portably, and to me this is just fine enough as it is. Um. Like, I, I just don't, I know, like, the, what is it, like, is it the CPU's faster, the RAM's faster or something, and the screen looks way better, I know, 
But to me personally, uh, I'd rather just get this. So um, yeah, I'm not I'm not too bothered about it. But uh, I absolutely love this thing. It is awesome. I have been playing it pretty much non-stop. It's absolutely lovely. Honestly, it's one of the best purchases I've made in a while. It's It still baffles me that I can play like Resident Evil or Fallout 4 or Skyrim, Cyberpunk, GTA. Uh, like I can play all these games on here and they don't look like Switch where it looks like an oil painting. Like it is genuinely incredible to me. Um, I absolutely love my Steam Deck and I, yeah, that's why I didn't get much else outside of that. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore my Steam Deck. It's awesome. Highly recommend it to anyone who is thinking about getting one because it is so, so worth it. Just don't get the 64 gigabyte model unless you have an, a big SD card, um, which I already did because I had one in my Switch and I switched over. But yeah, so, so happy with this thing. But yeah, I, that is everything I picked up in the month of February 2024. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know if you have a Steam Deck and what your experience has been with it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this one, do like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon. Follow me on Instagram. There are links in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.